Israeli President Shimon Peres has broken his silence and made public his opposition to a unilateral Israeli strike on Iran's nuclear facilities. Speaking on a TV news program, Peres said that Israel alone cannot stop the Iranians and that any attack must be coordinated with the United States. The White House, of course, welcomed Peres' remarks, but here in Israel, they've provoked mixed reactions. Some are praising Peres, but Prime Minister Netanyahu and his supporters are lambasting the president saying he's made another security assessment mistake. While the political debate continues, Israelis are preparing for the worst. Behind me, families are waiting in line to pick up their gas masks. At this mall in Jerusalem, it takes two to three hours to get a free gas mask. Considered an unthinkable inconvenience just a few months ago, today Israelis are flocking to these makeshift distribution centers on fears that the long-talked-about war with Iran is finally coming. It's a dangerous moment, so we are uh, getting ready for it. I hope for not, but we accept the worst. On average, 2,000 gas masks are distributed at centers like this on days when war fears peak. But officials say recently that number has often doubled to almost 4,000. Israeli-American Gula Twersky and her husband picked up 10 gas masks today for their children. Do you feel more worried about war? There's been more discussion the last couple weeks publicly in the media. Are you feeling more nervous? I suppose I feel more nervous because I feel like the war is probably imminent. I don't feel nervous in the sense that I, I, I believe in God and I believe that God loves it loves humanity and he loves the Jewish people and I believe that he's going to protect us but how difficult it's going to be along the way is scary. This is how difficult one former Israeli official publicly described a war with Iran. The outgoing home front defense minister Matan Vilnai said it would be a 30-day war fought on multiple fronts. Thousands of missiles would fall and at least 500 Israelis would die. The gas masks are supposed to protect Israelis against any deadly chemical or biological agents used in a possible war. More than Iran, Israel fears Hezbollah or other terrorist groups may use unconventional weapons against Israel, weapons they may seize from Syria's reportedly large stockpile due to the political chaos there. The gas masks come in three sizes for eight-year-olds and adults. More elaborate bubble-like head coverings have been made for younger children. Zahavit Lazar brought her 11-year-old daughter Eliza for a gas mask fitting. They tested if she could breathe with the mask on. It's the first time we're picking up gas. It's, I hope that there's no war and that we won't need it, but it is. It's scary. These are my children. We're here seven years. You know, this never happened before. It's a little... It's like uh, my heart beats fast. It's scary for me. I just, you know. But other Israelis seem less frightened. No, I'm not, not afraid at all. Just, uh, just to be covered, that's all. I'm, I'm not afraid. We have, uh, we religious people, we believe in mighty God. Bezrat Hashem will be, will be okay. If really we are going to attack Iran, it's really ridiculous to talk about it, you know, to tell the enemy that we are, done, that we are going to attack. So I hope this is the game, you know, which I don't understand, but I'm optimistic that this is only a game and threat. Just over half of all Israelis, about four million, have gas masks at home, according to the government. Hitting 60% is the state's target, but critics say more should be made to cover every citizen. Others question how much protection the masks will really provide. But for the Israelis here today, they seem intent on being safe rather than sorry. Jordana Miller, JN1, Jerusalem.